In first place is Ahmed Safyan from Hazlitt High School, and he will read his winning composition as well. Good afternoon. My name is Ahmed Sufyan, and I'm here today to read a poem that I wrote in honor of Dr. King. This poem is inspired by something Dr. King said, which is, true peace is not the absence of tension, it is the presence of justice. I hope to convey my understanding of true peace in this poem. My poem is titled, True Peace. If you think you're at peace, it may be an illusion. Justice and injustice are an incomparable fusion. Take a look around to see the ignorance and delusion. 1% with the majority of the economy, while the other 99 are living in an autonomy of poverty. We are living in an unseen monopoly. We are submerged in an ocean of secrecy, shrouded in a cloak that conceals all the acts of conspiracy. Our friends and family are mistreated frequently on the false charge of delinquency, believing that we are at peace while that is true in the least. If you accept the status quo of the dangerous duo, of lawlessness and injustice, allowing them to prevail, you will ultimately fail. We have become desensitized to a world of tension and lies. So when the problems are taken away, we lay engulfed in a false comfort, unaware of the vicious crimes. Police brutality, causing fatalities. I'm astonished at the casualties. Why the sudden rise in the loss of lives? Sons, daughters, husbands, and wives. We must recognize that the absence of tension is not a type of tranquility. It's a sorry excuse for serenity. The prevention of tension is not enough to call peace. There's war in Ferguson and there's war in the Middle East. Not pursuing justice in our current situation is what's provoking a warrant for our current deprivation. Brothers and sisters, we should rise together to complete this wise endeavor. Pursuing justice forever, a truly remarkable feat, we as one cannot be beat. Great job, Ahmad.